mtakatifu aniongoze safarini naomba mwana nitawaliwe na wewe praise god yeah it has been long i've not shared the word of god but that does not mean that I was out of it. I'm so much inside the word of God. As I always say that I'm so much determined to finish this race. My heart desire is to inherit the kingdom of God as a born again lady. Yeah. So, I wanted to share briefly on a short sermon which I started yesterday on Daniel chapter 3 verse 16 to 18 this is about our brothers Shadrach Meshach and Abednego i'm so much in love with these three men of god how i wish god can give me such friends in my life that we can speak one language no turning back no fear we know that god is able we know that with or without god whether we live we live for god whether we die we are still for god so i'm so much pleased with this man of god i want to extend this message and i want to base base my teachings or my thoughts on what is happening in this world As we can see that coronavirus have taken all over the world. Most of the time I don't want to speak about coronavirus because it is not my concern. My concern is God and what God is saying about my life and my purpose. Each and every day I wake up, it is my heart desire that I should accomplish what I was meant to accomplish that day. So my thoughts are not in coronavirus. What is paining me is how people are suffering. My friends, you can just second me that there is nothing to smile about. Each and every time you tune on your television watching the news all over the country, there is nothing to smile about. And there is no one that is smiling. It is all about one suffering to another, one calamity to another. It is death, it is infections. It is so bad. Anger also it is inside there. There is lockdown, there is curfew, there is people are out of their duties. There is no money, no work. Nothing is pleasing. And this is why I want to urge you my fellow brothers and sisters let us go deep into the word of god let us have this good relationship with god know what god is saying about your life know what is happening in your surrounding know how god is going to work it out know the people that you are hanging around with during this time As you know all of us that all the worshiping buildings have been closed. I don't want to say churches because we are the church. The buildings which we used to gather in and fellowship together as Christians as believers, they have been closed due to coronavirus. But that does not make us stop of the gospel. I thank the men of God, the women of God, the youth that those have taken their times to continue spreading the word of God. What I should urge you people is that take this time to have a good relationship with God. We do not know what the future holds for us. Most of the people, most of the servants of God they are saying that the world is coming to an end. Some people are saying it's just um it's a message trying it's God trying to convey a message to us. We do not know. But if you want to be on the safe side, just have a good relationship with God so that when the worst comes, you are still safe. When the best come you are going to testify my brothers and sisters this is not a time to sleep this is not a time to joke around make use of your bible i like the way shadrach meshach and abednego stood by their god 
maybe what was happening worshiping of idol maybe that was their coronavirus just like now but these men of god said for better for worse we are not going to bow down and worship any idol because they know the power that god had they know the love of god they know that god will never fail even though god never told them that do not worship any idol that i'm going to save you out of the fire god never told them but the relationship that they had with god made them assure made them not to disappoint their God, made them not to break their relationship with God because they knew that they knew that it is only God that is supposed to be worshipped. At is as it is one of the commandments that we should worship only one God. We should not worship any idols. So these men of God stick to the word of God. So what am I trying to say? My brother, my sister. Take this time to examine yourself. I'm not saying that I am righteous. I am not saying that I do not sin. I sin. I ask for forgiveness. I am not perfect. No one is perfect. Each and every one has his or not, his or her own weakness. But let us not take this opportunity to sleep around. Even like the ten virgins. They were waiting upon the Lord. Other ran out of fuel. Other had fuel. But you find five of them went out to get some fuel and the other remained. We, the other women, the clever women, had everything with them. This is how we should be. We are Christians. We should install, we should wear all the armors of God. We should put on helmets. We should make everything that is possible anything that it's it's of god anything that is concerning god when god is telling you to love love when god is telling you to repent repent when god is telling you to worship worship when god is telling you to pray without ceasing pray without ceasing for god knows what is ahead of you we do not know what is coming as you can see, there is nothing pleasing in our news nowadays. If you watch news, you, 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 you will even cry. It is this situation to the other situation is breaking your heart. You are asking God, what is happening in our world? What is going on? And it is all over the nation. It is not Kenya alone. It is not Uganda alone. It is not Tanzania alone. It is not USA alone. It is everywhere there is nothing that is pleasing but i want to tell you that it is only god it is only god that is able to change each and every situation the name of the lord is the strong tower the righteous runs into it and they are safe that is noted in the book of proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 let us stick to our God. Know the God that you serve. Make sure that when the time might come, when you will be told, are you going to worship the idol or you are being killed? Or we don't know what is going to be. Maybe it's either you worship the, the idols or you go against God or else you are being killed. Are you in a position to risk your life for God. And trust me, you can never risk your life for God if you do not have any relationship with God. Because the relationship with God is going to make you stand firm. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, they were three. But the statement, they were speaking the same language. I love such kind of friends. I do admire them. I wish I had such kind of friends where we speak one language, the language of heaven, the heaven's language, language of God, language of love. So my fellow friends, my fellow Christians, let us take this time to worship God. Take your time to praise God. Take your time to read your Bibles. There is no more Sunday worshiping only. Have it as a routine in your life. 
this is the time to know how, where your stand is. How firm are you in the Lord? Examine yourself each and every day. Examine yourself. If you are weak in the part of worshipping, just make sure that you kneel down, you pray and to God. Tell God to help you so that you have that spirit of worship. Tell God to help you that you should worship him in truth and in spirit. Amen. I thank God because God knew that such such kind of such time is going to reach. That is why it has been noted that the hour is here and it, it is now where the true worshippers of the Lord is are going to worship the Lord in truth and in spirit for the Lord searches for such kind of people. Let us worship the Lord in truth and spirit. I am so sorry for those people who are depending on the structures which we call the churches, not knowing that you are the church. I am so sorry. But still, you can still get up. You can still kneel down. You have your Bible by you. If you do not have your Bible, please try hard and have a Bible of your own. We do not know where the world is heading to. Be so much prepared of everything. The best thing you can do at this time, have your Bible, read the word of God, make sure that the word of God is in your heart. Hang them like a necklace. Make sure when you are walking, you are speaking, you are meditating about the word of God. Install, your, install the word of God into your life. Make sure that you are feeding yourself with the word of God. Feed yourself with praises, with worship, and you see that your life will never be the same again. You'll find that that is the time you will realize that truly you are the church. Let us not sleep around. I insist that we do not know what is ahead of us. We do not know if the world is coming to an end. We do not know if God is trying to convey a message to us. We do not know. But what I know that it is of good of you to learn to stand on your own ground. Know you are God. Do not depend on anyone's God. Stand firm with your God. God is there to listen. God is everywhere. God will never get tired of you. God loves you. He created you out of his own image. God is full of love. And once you will have God in you, you will also have that love. Let me tell you, this is the time. Do not just sit down there. Take advantage of this time. As I am telling you that you do not know what tomorrow might bring. Be rest assured. Be sure that you know you are God. Make sure that you are firm in the Lord. Make sure that you do not depend on anyone's God. Be stable spiritually. Make use of this time. Make use of your Bible. I thank the Lord that a lot of preachers have come out. They are doing their best. When you go to Facebook, Facebook, they are preaching. They are YouTube. They are there. Twitter, they are there. Everywhere, preachers, they are all over. Even though the building have been closed, they know that they have to speak preach the word of God. They know their purpose in this world. And that is the second thing. If you know your purpose in this world, you will not sleep. You will make sure that you have lived according to your own purpose. You that you have a very sweet voice inside that house. You are used to praising and singing unto the Lord in the church. But now they are closed. I repeat, you are the church. You can still sing unto the Lord. Sing unto the Lord. Applaud your voice, the word of God. That is the word of God. These songs that people sing, some of them, they are just the scriptures in the Bible. Just sit down. Sing with the voice that Jehovah God gave you. Praise the Lord. Worship the Lord. Put it in the status. It will bless someone. For the word of God is not in vain. 
you might think that it's just for a joke but you don't know what people are passing through maybe through what you are singing it will give someone hope people people are so desperate outside here let us hold on unto our lights i like this song that says that let us keep our lives burning let us run all over the world each and every darkest place let us reach there with the word of god we are the light and if you hide your light under the bed no one is going to see it you are there to shine you are not there to hide you are there to shine shine unto other people there are people who are hopeless with your light they are going to get hope there are some people whom they are holding unto candle with no flame light up their candle that is your work we are ambassadors of christ with or without the structures we are the churches and the word of god must continue if you know that there was something you were doing in the house of the lord let that not stop continue doing it when if you are a praise and worshiper continue praising god and worshiping god praise god in any language that you wish upload in your status go to facebook go to youtube those places are free of charge people are so desperate outside here they might bump into your song and they get uplifted so let us not sleep around this is not the time i'm sorry to say so it is not the time read your bible meditate about it check on your brothers and sisters if you have more than enough please share it with those people who do not have spread the love this is the time to show humanity reach out to your brothers and sisters just call them and ask how are you faring how are you doing that is so much of help to them as i have told you you do not know what people are going through outside here people are really getting it rough you might be sleeping inside your house you have eaten you are full and you don't know that your friend never slept inside the house maybe with this rains they they are no they do not have any shelter anymore and you are there god by god's grace you are inside the you are inside a warm place you are sleeping maybe it is raining you are under a warm blanket yesterday when i was watching the news i saw little kids they are sleeping outside and i am inside the house i tell god have mercy on them jehovah that is the time and you even covering yourself with the blanket is by the grace of the lord even having a plate to put food on it that's a grace so you have each and every reason to thank the lord do not take anything for granted do not take anything for granted as you can see there is nothing to smile about in this world that we are living now it is so painful it is so painful that i cannot even explain words i do not have words to explain but one thing that i know that god is able jehovah god is going to heal our land god is going to restore back our families oh yes is going to the god that i know god of a second chance once you just let go of everything there is nothing that you can do without god you cannot make it on your own let me tell you it's just by the grace of the lord be blessed i love you with the love of god let me finish up with a word of prayer father lord i give you glory I honor you Jehovah for there is none like you. I thank you for this wonderful day Jehovah Lord for what I've said King of Kings they are not my own my own words Jehovah Lord.
But you had your own purpose, King of Kings, for me to sit down and to minister unto your people, Jehovah Jireh. Father Lord, may you have your way into our life, King of Kings. As we are passing through this kind of calamities, pains and suffering, Jehovah Jireh, may you see us through, King of Kings, for it is only you that is able. It is only you, King of Kings. Without you, we are nothing, Jehovah Lord. Father Lord, have your way in us, King of Kings. Have your way, mighty Redeemer. I know, Jehovah Lord, that you are able, and with you there is nothing that is impossible. For you are the Lord of possible. You, Jehovah Lord, above all, you remain to be the God that should be worshipped. Have your way in asking of kings. Each and every day of our life, Jehovah Lord, let us have the spirit of humanity in us, King of Kings. Let us have love among our brothers and sisters, Jehovah Lord. Father Lord, may you install your word into us, King of Kings, so that we may continue sharing it unto the world. For we are the light, Jehovah Lord, and each and every light, Jehovah Lord, is supposed to stand straight, to be on to be on a place where, Jehovah Lord, each and every one may receive the shine from the light, Jehovah Lord. There is no one that is going to light up a lamp and put it under, under the table, Jehovah Lord. Because all the time they put it on top of the table, King of Kings, so that they may see in the middle of the darkness, Jehovah Jireh. Father Lord, have your way in us, King of Kings. Have your way, Jehovah Jireh. I know that all is possible with you, King of Kings. It might be this, Jehovah Lord, but I thank you because you say joy comes in the morning, King of Kings. I thank you, King of Kings. Whatever the situation, Jehovah Lord, let us continue having hope, King of Kings. With hope, Jehovah Lord, each and everything is possible, King of Kings. I give you glory and honor you, Jehovah Lord. Father Lord, for those people who are broken hearted, King of Kings, have your way in them, Jehovah Lord. For the hopeless people, Jehovah Lord, I proclaim hope in their life, King of Kings. For those people who are sick, Jehovah Lord, you are the healer, King of Kings. May you heal the mighty Redeemer. For those people, King of Kings, that have lost their loved ones, Jehovah Lord, you are the comforter. There is no one who can comfort at Jehovah Lord more than you. King of Kings, you are all that we need. Jehovah Jireh. Above all, King of Kings, let your word be the light unto our feet. Let us live according to your own purpose, Jehovah Lord. Forgive us, King of Kings. We come before you, Jehovah Jireh, with a broken heart, King of Kings. You are the only one that can fix us. Have your way, Jehovah Jireh. Receive all the glory, for there is none like you. We thank you in Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen.